Okay. Is it working? Yeah. Dear Godmother, honored guests, colleagues, people watching live stream, far away in Tasmania, Australia, here in Finland, as well as worldwide. Welcome to celebrate launching of our new building, 6009, and its naming ceremony. I am Johanna Kaio, Rauma Marine Construction's project director for new building 6009 and 6010, sister vessels for TT Line Company. At first, a safety notice. This is a shipyard and a working site. So while we are going outside, please mind your steps. Should something unexpected to occur while we are outside, please return to this hall. The martial area is just outside this building. A short description of the course of today's event. At first, Rauma Marine Construction's Chief Executive Officer, Mika Nieminen, shall give us a speech, followed by a speech by Spirit of Tasmanian, Chairman of the Board, Mike Granger. Then it is time to go outside to the bow area of the vessel, where Godmother Deborah Granger shall name the vessel traditional way. Then we are going to walk 212 meters to the stern. I will invite the valve openers by name to take their positions, and only upon my mark you can start to open the valves. Others than valve openers can stay either in the tent or by the quayside to witness the water to start, start to float into the dock. Thank you. Mika, please. Dear Godmother, Mother, Chairman of the Board, our honored guests, and the whole shipbuilding community near and far. Today is the uh, day of celebration we have worked hard for. It is extraordinary that us in the north corner of the world in a small town of Rauma, Finland, are making a pair of Robux vessels for the southernmost commercial ferry route from Victoria, Australia to Tasmania. It, it hardly is a coincidence that we just delivered a similar boat, Robux, to the northernmost commercial route. Vasa line it has been an acknowledged success. This is what we do here in Ra Rome. Our legacy in shipbuilding includes vessels for all kinds of extreme weather conditions, many purposes, sets for research, fastest uh, commercial robaxes, special military, and even ice-breaking vessel we have delivered to South Africa. It is our maritime industry know-how and courage to take on projects and challenges on a global scale, that defines us. We understand and respect the need of the uh, TT line in the project and recognize the importance of the route to the area. It also a question of security or supply. We have, knowledge, we have the knowledge and will to meet with these requirements we are aiming to build the best possible ship to our dear customer in Australia. Current macroeconomic uh, challenges have casted significant shadows on our endeavors. During the last year, CPR has been forced to shut down due to the pandemic. 
The war in Ukraine has caused instabilities in material and labor availability and costs. Inflation has reached an unbearable level. Many steps have been made to mitigate these risks and together. This extensive project uh, represents uh, one of the largest uh, single trades between Finland and Australia ever. We are in business and uh, commercial demands are very strong. But despite of this, we have to remember that people work and do business with people. We have been privileged in this town of Rauma to welcome and host key team members and their families from the TT Line Australia organization. This collaboration of an internal, international community has brought meaningful light and joy at Misty everyday life here. So everyday life in shipbuilding is hard work and full of surprises and challenges, unfortunately. But today we don't work. Today we celebrate. And in Finnish, if you may, ei ole hyvää arkea ilman juhlaa. So I'm really proud of this moment, I have to say that. Let's enjoy this special day together and on behalf of all RMC employees, I warmly welcome all of you to this celebration. Thank you. Chairman of the Board, Spirit of Tasmanian, Mike Granger, please. Thank you, Mika, and thank you, Johanna. So on behalf of uh, uh, our Premier of State, the Honourable Jeremy, Jeremy Rockcliffe, uh, Premier of Tasmania, uh, and Minister Michael Ferguson, Deputy Premier and Treasurer, uh, and the Minister for Infrastructure, uh, and the TT Line Board of Directors, um, I welcome you here. It's great to be here. There are a number of people that we need to acknowledge uh, and to thank for their hard work and their efforts to um, experience today, which is really the birth of the first of our twins. Um, today is a momentous historical occasion for the state of Tasmania and for the shipyard of RMC. I had the pleasure last night to have a tour of the vessel with John Anastasio and the CEO, Bernard Dwyer, and I'll come back to that in a moment. But it is just a magnificent vessel and the workmanship is absolutely first class. We are so excited to be taking delivery of these two ships in the not too distant future. I'd also like to thank the CEO of Spirit of Tasmania, Bernard Dwyer. No one is more passionate about this project than Bernard. It's been his life for a couple of years now and will continue to be until we take delivery and the ships are in service between Tasmania and mainland Australia. Bernard is so passionate, he, he drives you with enthusiasm. And um, to see him today uh, here with a big smile on his face, I wish I could see him now, but I can't see him anywhere. He may be, uh, to have a, a big smile on his face, um, because this is very, very important for a state the size of Tasmania. We're not a large state by any means, but we are passionate. We are a seafaring state, and to have a project of this significance is just almost overwhelming. I'd also like to thank the CFO, Kim Sayers. So Kim is here. Kim makes sure that uh, bills are paid, and we get paid, and has also been working tirelessly on this project. As you will understand, building ships is a complex business. Um, it requires everyone to come together as a team effort, and that is bankers and shipyard workers and companies, uh, suppliers, and everyone in between. I'd also like to thank the uh, uh, hospitality manager, Nick Harriman. Uh, he's almost as passionate as Bernard, probably not quite, but you can see him bouncing around uh, and enjoying the moment. Um, the project manager who's bringing this all together on behalf of TT Line is John Anastasio. 
John's here with his lovely wife, Diane. They moved here permanently uh, a while ago and they're going to be here for a, another, I think until the second ship is, is launched and handed over, which is probably six months or so. Um, so we're looking, we're looking forward to that. John is doing an outstanding job and again, his enthusiasm uh, during the tour last night uh, when I thought it was getting quite cold and my feet were starting to hurt, but there was no stopping us. We were going from bow to stern, port and starboard. Um, all of TT Line Management have been instrumental in this project and again they are all so enthusiastic to be getting new ships. Our existing ships were built not too far from here in Turku and um, we made the decision to come back to this part of the world because of the build quality. You people build the best ships in the world and I hope you understand that because you just do. Um, so uh, Mika, Thank you for your assistance and support. It is very, very much appreciated. Also, thank you to Harkin Enland and his wife, Lisson, who is, is also here. Harkin and I go back many, many years. We've had our ups and downs. Mostly it's been up. Uh, I'd also like to um, uh, acknowledge uh, the honorary, honorary consul for Finland in Tasmania, Bob Gordon and his partner, Diane. It's good to see you here, Bob. Um, we usually run into each other in the city of Hobart, literally run into each other. Um, so look, it's, it's a, moment, a momentous occasion. It's history in the making. I'm proud to stand here today uh, at this point and uh, I look forward to the launching ceremony um, when we smash the champagne, good Tasmanian champagne, I might add, um, on the bow, which could be seen to be a bit of a waste, but it's a uh, tradition in the making. And uh, the birth of our first twin baby is almost here. So please enjoy the occasion. Uh, I'm enjoying every minute of it. You are all very, very good people and you made us feel very welcome. You make us feel very welcome. And I'm so proud to be standing here today. Thank you. <clears throat> I shall now open the big door and then we will go to the bow area of the vessel. gentlemen, esteemed guests and honoured crew members. Today marks a momentous occasion as we gather to launch this magnificent vessel in the embrace of the open waters. With great pride and anticipation, we stand here to witness the culmination of years of dedication, hard work and meticulous craftsmanship. Thank you to Rama Marine Constructions for building an outstanding vessel, a true marvel of engineering and design which embodies the dreams and aspirations of all those who have poured their expertise and passion into this creation. It is a testament to human ingenuity, a symbol of exploration, trade and unity that will traverse the seas and connect distant shores. Thank you to Bernard Dwyer and the spirit of Tasmania management and crew as we launch this ship and let us remember the rich Tasmanian maritime heritage that has brought us to this day. From the earliest majestic ships of old, Tasmania's relationship with the sea has shaped cultures, economies and destinies. Today we continue that legacy with this magnificent vessel, forging ahead into new horizons with innovation as our guiding star. Let this ship be a beacon of hope, a vessel of progress and a carrier of goodwill. May this ship encounter fair winds and calm seas and may all who sail on her be marked by safety, success and the forging of new friendships across the waves. 
to the skilled crew who will navigate her, to the families who support them and to all those who have contributed to this incredible achievement. Let us celebrate this launch with joy, excitement and the knowledge that this ship is bound for a future filled with promise. It now gives me great honour to name this ship Spirit of Tasmania 4 and may God bless all who sail on her. Thank you. Out for Nick Brown. Nick, <laughs> while we're on. <laughs> yeah, but I, 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 yeah. I got the strongest one. <laughs> so we got to Thank you. 